Hi guys, Irish Trekker here bringing you my review of Star Trek The Official Starships Collection Issue 8 with the USS Excelsior and CC2000. So as per normal we have our model, put that to one side and we have our issue magazine. Okay, So we have our normally provided uh, stunning opening graphic here of the NCC2000, not the NX that we saw in... Um, the early motion pictures but this is this ship that uh, Captain Sulu um, captained around the galaxy so let's move through the issue quickly just to give you a sneak preview of uh, what it is there if you haven't already received your magazine so we have our standard profile of the Excelsior nice front on view there and then we have the background of the ship so again great graphics that we can see here and a little uh, snippet on um, Captain Styles as he was the um, commanding officer during the NX prototype per um, period that the Excelsior had there, um, which was going on the transwarp uh, testing spree um, and chasing after the Enterprise in that infamous scene where Scotty uh, sabotaged it. But uh, again, fantastic little uh, snippets there of information about the ship. This is one of my favourite ships, um, just as an FYI, and one of the more prominently featured ships throughout most of the series, is series, series, um, Voyager, Deep Space Nine, and uh, the Next Generation. So again, some key um, images of the ship with the um, NX bridge versus the actual bridge that um, on the NCC two thousand as well. Some nice shots there of the shockwave when the Praxis exploded. And I won't go into, go into too much detail here, but I'll just kind of give you a nice little quick snippet of the magazine itself. Um, some nice action shots there. Again, we have our battle cruiser that featured in an earlier episode, and the Klingon Bird of Prey as well. So, moving on to the breakdown of the more important components of the ship. Um, a lot of information on the phaser locations in the, in the ship as well, and just the overall size of it. But again, fantastic. Always oh, looks super fast. Just that ship just looks so sleek and cool. I love it. So we have our section on designing the Excelsior and some nice images of pre preliminary. I can't even talk today. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Preliminary design testing and uh, proof of uh, practice models here and some artist sketches of what might have been. Very interesting um, image here of what may have been. But I'm, I'm glad what they ended up with. So we have some further uh, run-throughs of what could have been in as well. Again, departure from the normal uh, design ethos uh, without the drive section, but four nacelles here. Um, again, very sleek, very slim down, kind of hot rod looking guys. But again, I'm, I'm happy with the way it turned out as well. And we should have actually filming. Yes, the studio models, the size of them. Absolutely massive, but epic detail on them. And again, you see the dressing there for the Lakota, which is one of the last appearances of this particular model um, in uh, the Deep Space Nine episodes. And I won't delay too much longer. We have our film appearances then. So TV shows and movies and most prominent um, appearances there. Again, some fact files there of uh, Christian Slater and how he ended up in the, one of the scenes. And some of the filming of uh, Next Generation. And a sneak peek of uh, the next issue, which is one I'm very looking forward to. That's one of my all-time favourite ships in the series. But uh, yeah, the Defiant. So let's put that to one side. Uh, again, close with our lovely graphic of the Excelsior. Whoosh. So let's get to the meat and veg. Or model. So let's get at this as per normal. I'm always super scared of breaking anything on these guys. So we just put that to one side. Right. Get you down. Get out our obligatory stand and that. Okay. Stand them out and go to one side. And here we go. So let me see if I can get some focus in here. There we go. Nice. Really nice ship. Really like that now. Um, hoping the lighting does it justice as well. Um, there's no great amount of as teching. There's a little bit there. Um, I hope the kind of light is picking it up a little bit of as teching along the hull, but you see the division lines there of the different sections and components. Um, nice top down view there leading into the um, impulse section. The decals on it are nice and crisp, 
um, if I can get a focus in there properly. Yeah, again, I don't really see any overall ridiculous flaws on this particular model. Again, we have the kind of die cast saucer section with the plastic um, nacelles. But yeah, I'm very happy with this particular model here. Now let's have a look at underneath. And then should we tap the focus now? I say I'm recording these on a phone, so apologies, I haven't the money to invest in a dedicated camera. Uh, but again, we have our nice decal layer NCC 2000 um, front on view there with the deflector dish and our um, aerodynamic, even though we're in space and it's not necessary, but our uh, super efficient design off the drive section. If I can focus, Dave. Okay, perfect. So uh, again, we have our decals there along the side. Again, too big of a scale to actually have the Excelsior written down along our United Federation of Planets. But uh, a really nice model now. Um, again, we have the opaque nacelles there to kind of give that electric blue feel. Um, let's have a look at the reverse. So we have our impulse and our shuttle bay broken down there in the last part of the drive section. Few little, as you see here, little bit off kind of, you're always going to have one or two issues, but I don't want to be over critical. For the size of them, they do hold a lot of... Um, detail to be honest with you and I'm very happy with the amount of detail on it and um, this is a lot whiter than the original Enterprise that we saw in one of the earlier missions I just pulled that out just as a comparison sake later and um, but the paint job is a departure there and um, but again a very nice representation of the Excelsior but yeah really nice really like it it's a nice addition to the collection as well and should stand out and hold its own when um, all put together um with everyone but yeah as i say this is one of my all-time favorite chips it just it just looks super cool just really like that now to be honest with you so let's see her mounted sorry i've just thrown that down devil maker oh. just while i wrestle this i just want to thank all my um subscribers um, I know this channel is still in its infancy, so I much appreciate the support and especially the, the comments and uh, feedback. And I say, if there's anything that I can do or change um, to improve the experience for you guys, um, definitely by all means um, hit me up there with the like or a comment. And I say, I try to respond to all you guys. So here we do. Here, here we do. Here we go. Um, it's a nice elevation. This is really feeling secure now. Um, Again, I like the ones where they hook onto the saucer section there. Uh, again, I do really like the way that um, they just suspend them and they don't bore out an ugly hole in the bottom of them um, for you to stick in um, a mounting on them. So again, it's, it's a nice little touch by Eagle Moss there. Um, yeah, I like this one. This one is my precious so far. So yeah, that's cool. So let me bring that up a little bit closer to you. If I can actually stop looking at the camera and look at what I'm doing. Okay, so there be she, the lovely Excelsior, Excelsior, I don't know why I keep saying it that way, Excelsior, NCC 2000. So, like I normally do, I like to kind of contrast it with uh, another ship on the line, okay? So, bear with me, Blech. pardon these grunts, so unfit, it's ridiculous. Let me just wrestle over the NCC 10. 170 god i'm shooting this quite late hence the low brain cells so here we go as you see that's what i was kind of talking about with the difference in color so you have the kind of more gray with the kind of blue hue uh, through the ncc 1701 and then you have the more white gray on white ncc 2000 but again each has their own special characteristics each have their own um special features that i really do like you know the decals do stand out fantastic on the excelsior so uh yeah very good job nice addition to it so that pretty much wraps up this review guys um again much love on the support that you've given me so far um i just set up a twitter and a facebook account as well for all you guys if you want to um follow there or add some comments and um, just look in the comments below for the details there and i say feel free to drop on by and leave any information or 
Just pretty much anything of interest if you'd like there, um, I'll try and respond to everyone. Um, there shouldn't be any reason, uh, as it's still a new channel. And again, I appreciate all the support and likes that you guys are giving me. And I'm happy that I'm entertaining you where possible. And if I can make it any better for you, do hook me up with some comments or likes or dislikes if you need. Just to show me that um, you have uh, some something to say. That's cool. So yeah, that's uh, issue... Um, it's the Excelsior, so thanks for watching, and catch me on the next round with the Defiant. Cheers, good luck. Happy Christmas, by the way. Bye-bye.